Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt from TechFanax TV and today we're going to take a look at Google Drive, a new cloud-based service by Google. So first off, what you want to do is hit the link which will be down in the description below. It will take you to this webpage right here and just install it with this little blue button. Now, you should be set to go, so up here in my menu bar, I do have my Google Drive icon. If I hit that, we will see I do have five gigabyte of storage. So let's hit buy more storage and we'll, uh, we'll be able to see what other plans Google offers. Now, as a Google Drive user, you do get five gigabytes of free storage, which is very nice because when you compare it to Dropbox, another huge uh, cloud-based service, Dropbox only offers two gigabytes of free storage, whereas Google offers five, which is something that's very nice to see. So here is the current plan you will be getting. Uh, you do get 5 gigabytes of Drive, 10 gigabytes of Gmail, and 1 gigabyte of Picasa. If that's not enough, you can always upgrade to a bunch of different plans. You can get a uh, 25 gigabyte plan for $249 a month, or the 100 gigabyte plan for $499 a month. They're both screaming deals, very good deals in my opinion. So if you ever think about uh, upgrading your plan, these are two that you might want to really consider. Now, if 100 gigabytes isn't enough, you can always upgrade uh, to 200 gigabytes all the way up to 16 terabytes. And the 16 terabyte plan does go for $800, which is a ridiculous amount of money. But that's that. If you ever need 16 terabytes for whatever reason, there you go. Now, as we can see up here, the Documents tab is missing and is replaced by Drive. And that's because your Google Docs is now uh, placed inside your Google Drive folder. So let's hit Drive. Here, if we hit my drive, we can see that I have no folders and I'll confirm that by opening my Google Drive folder. As you can see, there are zero items. And one thing I forgot to mention was your Google Drive folder is pre-created when you install uh, Google Drive, just like your Dropbox folder is created when you install Dropbox. So that's less of a hassle for you and it's just a good, nice time saver. So anyways, uh, zero items. And I'll just create a folder. Let's name this Tech Fanatics TV. Hit OK. And as you can see here, uh, I do have the Tech Fanatics TV folder. And if we go back to the Google Drive folder, it should sync onto the uh, folder soon. As you can see, that didn't really take too long. It took just under five seconds, I would say. So uh, Google Drive does work very nicely. So let's exit this. We're going to create a Word document. Let's name this the TFTV test. Hi guys, this is Matt from Tech Fanatics TV. Horrible uh, grammar, capitalization, all that stuff, but nobody cares. It's just a test. So we're going to exit that. As you can see, here is the TFTV test, which I just made. It is in the uh, TechFanatics TV folder. And if we go back to the Google Drive folder on my computer, go into the TechFanatics TV folder. Here is the TFTV test.gdoc that I just made. As you can see, Google Drive works very well. It syncs everything very fast. Now, this is a very small file. It only had like... 10 words on the actual Word document. So it is a small file to sync, which means syncing time will be dramatically less than what you would normally probably be syncing. If you were to sync a larger file such as a movie, I'm not sure how long that would take, but I'm sure that uh, Google Drive will do a good job of syncing it very fast. It won't take too long, so you should be satisfied with syncing time. Now, if we can uh, load something from the web page onto the Google Drive folder on my computer, we should be able to do it the other way around. So here I do have a random picture and a test document. We're just going to drag both of these into the TechFanax TV folder, which is in my Google Drive folder. These uh, blue arrows do mean that the file is syncing, and when it's done syncing, it will turn into a green check mark just like so. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. And now that it's finished, we can check if it is on the web page. I hit Drive once again. TechFanax TV. Here you do see the Word documents, the test, and the random picture that I just put in. 
So as you can see, once again, Google Drive does work very, very well. Syncing does not take a lot of time. It is very fast. And that's something we all want to see on a cloud-based service, no? So guys, this has been a quick demo slash first look at Google Drive, a new cloud-based service by Google. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right above this video. If you have any questions about Google Drive, any comments or feedback, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Also guys, tell me what you think about Google Drive. Do you think Google Drive is going to be a Dropbox killer with the extra storage that you get for free and also the awesome prices that you get for upgrading plans? Whatever you guys think, feel free to leave your thoughts uh, down in the comment section below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.